Uh, now this is real bad because I truly do not remember the house I'm going to, as we demonstrated earlier. Uh oh, hobble my ass along. I like how only one person took a shot. You, you're gonna die. No way. No, no, no. It's this door. We tried to go into this door before, didn't we? Yeah. Am I am I wrong about this? Why wouldn't you lock the door? She, uh, she had no time. No time for that. So something interesting happens here if you do not heal her. What? Do you know what that is? She there is a limp for the rest of the game. No, there's yet another scene where she tries to kill herself. If you just oh, wait I know, this I know, out, I know the scene. But heal that. me because it takes way too long and it's too boring. Yeah, because she try. It's not like a. It's not like that type of suicide. Yeah, that, it's that's not, not depression. depression. It's, it's, it's. I'm about to be murdered by a mob of really mad people. It's what that um. What was she? A oh, sorry. She was a Kurdish woman, right? Who? The one who suicide bombed the ISIS people. Oh, I was wondering what the hell you were talking about. Yeah, there was a Kurdish one. Is there more I'm supposed to do? Give me a controller, I guess. You healed me. Yeah, so... Oh, go up top, up top. Uh, look at this... Holy shit. Not up top, look at the... Oh, oh yeah. yeah, the ladder. So if you just wait around here long enough without doing anything, they just bust in and you get a slightly different scene. I just fucking healed your leg. Why are you... Uh, don't question it. They just got really... So remember when they told us to come in here and, and do not directly engage them? You just directly engage them. And that, the, like, didn't they mention specifically about how there would be no kind of extraction? Yeah. So they just go in and they're just gonna murder the hell out of all these people in this country? How is that not an international incident? How is she not already dead? You are already dead. Like, oh my wamo, shinderu. That, no. No, it'd be even better. The, 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 it does not work like that. Look at you out of here. Come where on. Was, where are all the dudes who had the RPGs earlier? They, there is no, correct, you would know this better than I would. There is no way they would go in there with helicopters like that. Into the hottest area ever. They did once, It's and they they did a movie about it, it's called Black Hawk Down. Why no? Yeah! Black Hawk Down, it was a fucking extraction in a very hot LZ. Actually, no, it was a, it was a, dro a drop off. Anyway, mm -hmm. they fucking brought Black Hawk heli helicopters being all ballsy saying, okay, we'll just, you know, we got these fucking stealthy helicopters. We'll bring them out in fucking broad daylight. But it was not, they did like, not bring it out into a scene so like that. To get an agent back. No, it was where like, mobs of, of soldiers were agent. around. UN item, of course. Uh, here's Ryan being a douche again. You okay? Uh, so, oh, oh yeah, cool. More this bingo shit. Thing. I know this one. Uh, where is that? Asshole army guys. Which, does that give us another bingo? Yeah, bingo again! Oh, man! Okay, so we got asshole army guys crossed off. Does that also count as strong, powerful woman saved by a man? Yes. Okay. Yes, it does. Okay, okay, okay. That gives us yet another bingo. That gives us two bingos! Oh my god, we're so close to filling this board in! We need... Uh, let's also play the game while I scratch this off. We need white knighting, going um, to the player, and slap fight, and that's I it. don't know if we get most of those. Hold on. I want more. Give me more. Where's my big bottle of, of vodka when I need it? How's your leg? To mix with these painkillers. Oh, don't pain do that, kids. <laughs> what are you doing? What is... I don't... I can't the, read all that. The, it's just a fucking BIOS issue. Oh no. Oh no. So guess what I get to do when we're done here? Fix computers! Yay! Yay! So you get to move from beating beyond two souls to something even more that's actually more fun. Okay, let's turn on the news. International community 
new president, election of the new president, Jamal Sheikh Sharif. Oh no, he wasn't an evil warlord, even though that's bullshit, and he clearly... Like, okay, so they're telling us he was a presidential candidate, and Ryan just lied to us about him being a warlord? So this raises a couple of, st of really stupid questions, like, Jody doesn't look into anything or know anything about the world in which she lives. So she doesn't know this? She doesn't know how to watch the news. She doesn't watch the news, she doesn't research anything for herself. She doesn't, she doesn't know shit about what's going on in the world. And then clearly, like, this is where I feel like they're clearly lying to the player. Because everything points to him being a warlord. Yeah. The child soldiers, the, the public executions in the street, all that shit. All that shit. Yeah. The dude is clearly a warlord. Well, but they just tell you at the last minute that he's not to set up this really contrived twist. I'm tempted to say that's lying to the player just to create this stupid twist. So this is it. This is it. This is the conflict that's been driving the plot up until now. This is the big reveal that they've been hiding through the non-linear storytelling. This is what they've been hiding from the player. Why she's running from the CIA. Which... Is this a satisfying conclusion to that? What difference does it make? Jody, he was a dead man walking with or without you. I have blood on my hands! Some kid lost his father because of me! You've had because fucking blood on your hands! Yes. You tried to kill teenagers! Other kids have lost their fathers because of you. You didn't care about them because you didn't meet the kids? You burned down somebody's house! Something I personally have dealt with and know it's not great! But this is... The, oh my god. This is what the plot has been building to, this whole game An so argument wild. between lovers? Like, the reason she left the CIA and she's on the run. That's the one core detail that's been driving the plot. And you find out it's just this. It's also bullshit that she so just- So now what is left for the- Where- Like, what directions are left for the plot to go in at this point? It is fucking bullshit that she is just allowed to drop out of the sky. And land because Iden is magic ghost powers. Fuck that. I'll come. I'll come right now, Jody. Jody. We missed a really good opportunity to make that joke during the sex scene. Where Ryan's all you come, like, "You come right now, Jody." You know, where Ryan turns to her in bed and he's just like, "I'll come. I'll come right now, Jody." Jody. I was just doing what I was told. Man, I can't get over how, like how. Flaccid this feels. Because again, that's all we have to go on with the plot. The plot is so paper thin. It's deceptively thin. It's over, Nathan. And then all we have left now is the little cock tease about the condenser. That's all we have left. I'll kill them. Finally. As far as, like, no, 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 just as far as plot goes. And then we're done? But we've taken so long to get so little. Are we done yet? <laughs> no. Um, we still have Nora, Dragon's Hideout, and Black Sun. Ah. Uh, who's Nora? Nora is, uh, oh, you'll see. It's yeah, the next, it's yeah, what's coming up. Okay, I remember. We're, we're closing in. Ah, so close. I can taste it. I don't know. I, I don't want to harp on that one element too much, but then harp on the rest it's not, of the game. I'm do I'm gonna do that too. But like very little has gone on. Look at all of these all all of these chapters and think of how little has actually happened to progress the plot. That's beautiful. I love that's nice. Hey, it's Cole! I almost forgot his name, it's been so long. Actually, didn't we just see him? Like, Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's yeah. wrong with you. We just saw him right before we went to war. I'm trying to forget. Oh. How long do you think I'm trying to flash the neuralizer. Oh um, if I'm being conservative, oh like two hours. Don't be conservative. I'm sorry, that's if I'm being hopeful. <laughs> um, uh, like two and a half, three. At most. I hope. God, I hope this is not three more. 
so... I don't know, I feel like Cole is one of the only yeah. sympathetic characters in this that I like, aside from Dawkins up until the end. So the reunion's kind of nice, I like that. I was worried. I'm, but it's just, it comes out of nowhere. Uh, keep the commentary going, I need to turn this fan down. Alright, so, uh... Blah, blah, blah. That um, is not commentary, Mike. Fuck, fuck you. You know it. <laughs> Uh, so we're watching some things, and how's Nathan? I ain't fucking controlling this game. Fuck this shit. You, I, you have to be able, able to do like ten seconds of solo commentary. Hell no! Why would you not pick my controller up? Because I got my own right here that I'm gonna drop God, on your floor you the, again. You are the worst. Some people say that. Mm, I said that. Some people could go fuck themselves. I said that. You could go fuck yourself. No, I tried. We are ruining this touching moment. The only this, touching no, moment in this game. No. The only. Almost touching. Uh, what about the experiments? The infra. I hate that word. What do you think about the infra world? I think it's a great band. No. No. Really? No. That doesn't sound like the name of a band to you? No. We are the table. I am the table! I am I Captain a Kirk! A woman named Nora <laughs> Gray. A child in a DPD hospital. I'm your Huckleberry. <laughs> Her child was declared stillborn. What does that even mean? <laughs> <laughs> like watching that movie. Nora, 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 Nora. Watching. Well, did we learn about Nora? All I know is that she took. So we're gonna get this big reveal about Jody's mom! Yeah! Who we've been wondering about the whole... Oh, wait, no, we haven't, because that hasn't been built up for us. Thanks for the foreshadowing, video game. You've been jumping all over in the narrative, but you didn't have time to foreshadow things. He died before birth. You know what I did have time to foreshadow? That's all I could find. The dystopic Terminator future. Where's Nora now? I don't remember. I can't explain how to format a hard drive over the phone. Just after she gave Uh, you take it out first. You remove it from it from its enclosure. You get the biggest, strongest magnet you can find, and have at it. Well, that's what we're gonna do to our old hard drive. Even though it's exactly, exactly. That's what you do to all hard drives that you're discarding. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going, yeah, I'm going to pretty much disassemble it, take each platter, and run a fucking magnet over yes. it. Yes, and then we're playing that shit with it like it's a fucking frisbee. <laughs> do you know those are fucking hard? I use I took one of a hard drive platter once and flung it like a frisbee. That shit got stuck in wood. Wow. Yeah. Because they're sharp. Well, not. Sharp. All right, so we're learning that her mother Nora is in a high security DPA facility, some sort of mental ward. David Cage has not had the best history of portraying the mentally ill, and to his credit, Beyond Two Souls represents probably the most tasteful of, of his representations of what mental hospitals look like, as opposed to the one in Indigo Prophecy. Whoa, I'm seeing graphical glitches. It's raining. Um, Holy shit. God, I can nitpick this scene too, and that bugs me. But it's so beautiful. Even this okay This is beautiful. It, but that's all this hey. is there for, but is David to Cage be better scenery. Because, like, there's no reason for us to be having this big exposition dump here, as opposed to, like, we could be in the hospital. We could be skipping all of this useless uh, scenery, and we could just be doing this on the fly as we're in the hospital. But, like, he, the, the art director for this game, or the environmental designers, had this really nice idea for this scenic autumn oh, park but it's a cut during the sunset. And, well, cutscenes are a thing of the past. So really? they're like, no, just do the exposition here instead of... Uh, it, it, it's fat. They could have trimmed that. That's why I'm saying David Cage needs an editor. He needs someone to rein him in. Well, so and George tell him, Lucas. yeah. <laughs> By the way, did you hear about that Darth Maul game that Redfly wanted to make? They met with Lucas to pitch it to him, and while they're pitching, he sees two Sith Lord statues in the room, and 
they're from like two different eras. So he stands up and he turns them to face towards each other. He's like, look, they're friends now. Rather polite. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted them to be in the same game and they had to explain to him no they're from different they're from right completely right? different times that doesn't work and he goes across the room turns them and to face each other and he says now they're friends <laughs> George <laughs> Lucas sounds uh, like plea. a no 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 oh, god damn I hit the I wrong button lie <laughs> Jody's been a really good liar Sorry, in the past must yeah she lied to those homeless people right about her true motive <laughs> All right, let me Which just, was to let acquire. Let me kill this guy, please. You don't kill him. As far as I know. Well, it's just gonna lock him in a broom closet. That's all. Sup? The extent of Iden's powers are ridiculously ill-defined. Great. Yeah. So this is where it gets real. Uh, one of the buttons. Stick, flick the stick in some direction until it, it works. Tell Nora Gray. Nora Gray. Nora Gray. Floor, room room 43. 43, 7th floor. I like how you he... hear about that, the, the, uh, what's his name? Something Collins from 7th Heaven? It's a child molester? It, well, he, supposedly he admitted to it. He, he admitted it to his... Uh, wife, spouse, something. Well, I saw over the phone. I saw that, and I was like, "No, no more depressing. No more depressing news for the day. I'm just going to turn this off. I'm just going to go back to reading about uh, potato contraceptives." Hold on, I have to do something to get his attention. Otherwise, he'll yeah. Well, you have to poltergeist the whole, everything. There's nothing else. Oh no, I have to. You have to poltergeist all the stuff in order. I'm yeah, I have to, I have to try to do the door. He'll notice that it opened. Be like, what the hell? And That's then, silly. Then I have to give him something. To that is silly. Him. Crap. That is totally Let's silly. Distract the guard first. Right. first. That's the silliest of the silly. I know I gotta distract the guard first. You won't fucking let me, you stupid. Do you have to do all of these in order? No, I think I can. No, that's no, that's not gonna work. You have to. It's the thing behind him, I think. Turn around. Oh. Oh my god, this camera is so bad. It's that. Yeah, let's I just, am the table! Let's just fuck with I all this shit that I have no idea. Exactly. Didn't you just knock the power out? How is the electrical door system gonna work in that? I don't know. I only fuck. Shouldn't they have backup power? Oh, uh, it's... Yeah, let's just it's not totally just clear. Stop asking fucking questions. I will stop asking questions now. Open, open that door. You, pick up that trash can. Put it, or you, pick up that can. <laughs> Put it in the trash can. Oh, you're, tr you're going for a Half-Life 2. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just being clear on the references. Put it in the trash can. Is she can. just going to loop this animation? Oh, hell yeah. Okay, Aiden. Must be something. Uh, is this where you have to get the, uh, oh, the guard's attention? Oh, wait a minute. Attention? Wait a m Oh, that's not wait a minute worthy. Wait a minute. No, is this where you have to get the guard's attention? Not yet. Or is that when we get further in? I guess so. Or I guess not. Break all the necks of all the cameras. <laughs> I don't see any more cameras. Make so. them humble. So there's one of the... Oh, nice outlet. Maybe you can just let me in now, or do you have to hit a button? There's a button I gotta hit. So, oh, yeah, I do have to, I have to possess the guard. I thought that I wasn't sure if that was later or not. Oh, he's too far. So away. you have to get his attention first because he's too far away. You have to get him to come into the room. He'll come. He'll come right now, no. Jody. Jody. So yeah, just knock the chairs around. That'll get his attention. The I, some of the Iden sequences I like, like from a gameplay mechanic. Is he really mechanic. still asleep? Yeah, you have to do it a little bit more. Like I like some of the the more clever Iden stuff, especially as you get later in the game. Some of Aiden's sections, aside from how bad he controls, are are a little bit clever. Like especially, we'll get to something in the end game that I really like. I'm just fucking. Yeah, just keep doing it. Keep doing it until he comes in. There. He's finally awake. This is an awfully quiet, and and I just think he's an idiot. Like like yeah. who who just. Who just casually walks into a room that's been trashed? 
Well, he's trying to figure out what the hell's going on in here. Beep. Apparently nobody warned him about the ghost either. Nobody warns anybody. Oh god, I, this is you. That's fucked you. Up. Let me just Nobody warns anybody about Ghost Girl. About Ghost Rider. You got to pick up Oh the yeah, key the card. key card. What do you leave that right on the door? Yep. Wait a minute, where did he leave? Right oh, there. there it is. The prompt wasn't coming. Oh god, turn. Camera. Thank you. Now we can use it. I don't hate this chapter so much. There's... This isn't where the twist gets revealed, is it? Uh, no, it's, it's at the end of the game Jesus. that they do it. Do you want me to knock out all these cameras? Ah, oh, Jesus. I don't think it matters. I'm sure it does not. Go left. Is it... Yeah, it's over there somewhere. You sure what it's not straight it? down? It's 47, I want to say. 44. No, I'm pretty sure it was on the right. 40. Three. Three. No, it's 43. I'll wait here. Okay. Jody. Yeah, I'm used she to uh, coal finding it and going over here. She might not even know you're there. I wasn't aware you could beat coal here. Maybe you shouldn't go in. Well, now you know. And the more you know, knowing is half the battle. Dude, you were. <laughs> Man, you salvaged that. Go in. Stop looking dumb. Stop that. <laughs> oh my god, would you stop messing with this? What is it with you and bottles? Oh my god. Get I will take bottles away from you like you're goddamn five years old. Well, that's what happened with the fucking podcast. Yeah, that's what killed the you podcast. You children had bottles, to be punished. Bottles killed the podcast fucking five years so, ago. Uh, the reason you find people. So can't Nora's eat. completely catatonic. Oh. And we learn more about that later. About why she's catatonic? Yep. No, you learn about that right now. No. No. That's later. Right. Are you learning about it the second? No. It's later. You and your semantics. And you learn a lot more about it later. You don't learn that much more about why she's catatonic later. You learn that right now. See? Joe D. Um. Joe D. Yeah, man, this would be a much more touching scene if we knew anything about Nora up until, uh, uh like prior to five minutes ago. As See is, can... there has been no emotional connection whatsoever built between the two. I can do it. So with this is a one. totally flaccid scene. Yeah, I'm doing it with one. No, you're not. It's not working. Man, it look, works. Look at that blue ghost dick bouncing off well done, Jody's forehead. Okay, so we're learning that and father, Nora and uh, Jody's father were both gifted. This baby is. You won't be able to, Nora. Jody is not unique in the fact that she is the special you know that. power. So my question at this point is, where is everybody else who should also be gifted? Why is nobody else like that? Because nobody was dumb enough to tell the government, hey, I'm psychic. But the, clearly someone else has to have that power. Yeah, they were smart enough to Let think to themselves. The Maybe I shouldn't tell other people I'm psychic. Decrease the dose. I'm getting premonitions sure about uh, deadly premonitions. Maybe yeah, I'm getting some deadly. Oh, premonitions. I can't wait! I can't wait! Twin Peaks comes back in 2016, so Deadly Premonition 2, 2017. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it was my fault. Again, this rings totally emotionally hollow. And it should be like the, this tearjerker scene, but we know nothing about their relationship. Jody didn't even know who she was until five minutes ago. What I just so, from what it looks like right now, she gave birth to Jody and she had signed up for some kind of deal ahead of time where she was going to give the baby up for adoption and then changed her mind at the last minute. You're up, by the way, phone master. Oh, God. <laughs> uh. 
I don't understand what this is supposed to be symbolically that you're clearing off. Is this the neuro acid that they're pumping into her to put her in a coma? Or is this ghosts possessing her spirit brain or what? All of those words that I just said are fucking stupid. Uh, but they are totally things in the game. You are obsessed with that phone. This is kind of an emergency. Is it an emergency? Yes. Oh. She cannot use her computer. I've missed you uh -oh. so much, Jody. I've missed you so much. What happened? You want I should pause? No, hold on. What did they do to you? Okay. The drugs. I've missed you so much. Trap me. Girl that the player doesn't know about. I've missed you or, so much, I mean, much not, whoever you not girl the player doesn't know about, but uh, the mother. Yeah, that one right there. That girl. Yeah. I don't know much about her. Yeah, we... Did they just introduce her? I, she seems like a new character. I'm used to playing this little girl and then this other girl with really short hair. Yeah, and sometimes like she has like, a nice little cool pixie cut. Sometimes she's a really... Cool army lady. Will ever yeah, that. I, I'm not used to. I don't know who this person is. With she kind of looks like Juno, a little bit, <laughs> a little bit like Juno. <laughs> oh no, the ghosts are taking over again, or the acid? Can I just point out how much I hate the phrase neuro acid because it's bullshit? The whole idea behind calling it a fucking acid? Yeah, that's some stupid shit. So We're at any point there, this. did they explain why they put her in a coma? No, nah, no. Because I, the reason is actually... No, that's what they explain later. Yeah, okay. You're right. You're right. Because the reason actually makes sense. Oh, right, this. So am I gonna? Yeah. It's the merciful thing to do. Plus, this sets something up for the end. Why does that say good on that monitor? Oh, man. She's doing real good, though. And smile. Yeah, so peaceful. So you know you... That... Um, so... Am I gonna put some coins... <laughs> bullshit power. Am I gonna put some coins over her eyes for the boatman, or what? Oh. Do I have a couple pennies? Maybe I can put some chocolate coins on. Why does he need coins anyway? Does he need to pay off the the rent on his ferry on his of the baby. underworld? It's not a ferry. You don't realize. He, See, no, that's but, no. literally what it is. He ferries the souls of the dead. No, no. It, but it's not like a full fledged ferry. It's like it's a dinky, dinky rowboat. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Karen's rowboat. Of the damned. Did this dumbass really just fucking hit her with a gun? Yeah, that's... No, they explain why. And the, the explanation is stupid. They totally explain why they cold cock her with the butt of the gun. Right now? In like... A minute, they... It, when uh, a character walks into the room. A character. Wonder who it could be. In this evil Deus Ex office. I know, look at this shit. This is like super fucking villain right here. <laughs> this is... He's gonna sit down, explain like his evil plan. if Snidely Whiplash does not walk into this <laughs> office, we riot. He's gonna explain his evil ass plan. Yeah, just drink this random drink on yeah, the table. Yeah, yeah, I love drinking thought. strangers' liquids. What? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> uh, sometimes I, th I say things I don't mean to say. <laughs> What's going on here? What the hell is that? <sighs> Dr. Evil. This is Dr. Evil's oh my lab. God. Welcome, to, welcome to my evil lair. <laughs> the lair of the monarch? <laughs> I can't do Dr. Evil anymore. Austin Powers, welcome to my evil lair. Wow, that is the worst impression yet. 